tuning. Um, for everybody to understand, I'll um, talk in English. It's easier for everybody. Well, I hope. And so the first song is called um, By the Way. Now, there's a little story uh, to By the Way, which is, by the way, we wrote that song um, while we're living in Italy. And, um, well, there were protests going on. And uh, for the first time, in Italy it's not very common to have protests. People in the street protesting against the government and the banks. And so it was very particular to experience uh, strikes in Italy. And not only strikes, but protests. And uh, it was still the Berlusconi government at the time. And um, it was the first time also I had this feeling that we could actually change something and change well, things how they are and uh, don't have to accept everything how it is presented to us to be normal and just. And um, well, there are, so apparently there's one point. Um, when you get to that, people will stand up and say, well, this is enough. And, well, and this is about, about um, the possibility of changing things. It's by the way. Yes. 
yeah, so um, artists have this, well, people who define themselves as artists sometimes have um, uh, uh, these strange ideas, um, like abstract ideas, for example, just being a, a musical note. <coughs> Something like that. And, uh, well, this is about one of those ideas. This song is um, it's about a, uh, a captain, and so we are close to the port, which is probably the best place to play or uh, tell the story of this man who um, who tried to find a path across the North Pole at the end of the 19th century, which we know is never found. Um, he got stuck in the ice three times, and most of his 
crew died. And he was found eating, chewing his boots by Inuit people, and he was uh, given something to eat and sent back to England. And um, later on, he discovered some uh, islands near Australia, still called the Franklin Islands. And, and the song is uh, the song is about his life. Discovery of slow motion.
Thanks. This is Sarah, by the way.
can't read my own. It's oh, it's, it's your <laughs> info, <laughs> sorry, that's why. <laughs> Um, now, Sarah here makes beautiful, very beautiful music, and um, well, I thought we should ask her to play a song for us. <laughs> well, if you ask me that kindly. <laughs> Would you play a song for us? Yeah. <laughs> spontaneous here, um, <laughs> as you can tell. And, um, it's not on the playlist. No, it's not on the playlist. That's why you, you can read it, because it's not there. <laughs> See? Well, that's anyway. <laughs> anyway, usually when I'm on tour, I have my piano and I have my violin, and lots and lots of like little stuff, a loop station, which Daniel has there and we'll use later on. Um, where you can loop yourself, so it seems like there is hundreds of people on stage, not just you. But for you, now, as a special occasion, as a special treat, I will play it totally stripped down, just with Daniel on the e boat, which is, where is it? Which is this tiny little thing, still in the sack. <laughs> so that's supposed to be in there. It looks fancier than it is. It's just a little... No, it's, it's fancy. It's fancy? Yeah, yes. it's fancy. And it has... It's an e -bow. It has this nice light blue light. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to use it in the night yeah, time, so. Evo, because see. it's like a bow, but uh, oh. it's creating an electric, uh, a magnetic field to get the strings to swing. Which Hopefully, yeah. The last two shows we didn't manage because uh, there was no sound at that time. Today, we could. Today's a good we should, day. We should manage. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So this is inside. Don't know where to begin. Inside. 
This next song takes us to Australia. But uh, um, who's, who's been to Australia? Oh, yeah, one, two. Uh, so you know uh, how Australia is made to have, well, it's more or less that the shape. And towns are all around, but there's very little, close to nothing in the middle. And there's one road that takes you from the north to the south, and it's about 4,000 kilometers long, and there's not a single curve, it's not a single bend in there. So it goes straight for 4,000 kilometers. Uh, there's one turn in the middle, actually, so it goes 2,000 kilometers, one turn, because then you can turn uh, westwards, eastwards. And then you can continue. So you have that choice. Um, well, the thing is, um, during that journey, uh, we did that by car, and so it was 2,000 kilometers that we took the turn. And but for those 2,000 kilometers, it was it was very strange. The landscape was it's flat, it's uh, and yellow, and the sky has a undefinable colour as well. Uh, um, something like a brownish, grey, yellowish colour. So it's almost like... Almost like a brown, yeah, I know. Yeah, that. It, goes, it goes even further because um, on the side of the road there were all these uh, little dad kangaroos called wallabies. And we were wondering why until at some point we saw a huge cloud coming towards us. I thought, oh, what the heck is that? And we found out, well, we moved from the road and by came a huge road train. And road trains are like uh, uh, here, like lorries, but much bigger. And uh, they don't stop. And so you have to move, or, well, I don't know what's going to happen otherwise. But, um, they never stop, and they drive at night, and at night the kangaroos come out. And, well, um, well, anyway, but still, the landscape there had something particular when we came into the first town. It was, oh, people, oh, well, the traffic lights, oh, petrol stations, oh. And it almost created this wish to be back in the middle of nowhere with the dead kangaroos. <laughs> well, anyway, this is it.
Just in case, no change. Just a bit of redder than a colorless sky. He got some cats eating numberless carcasses from the ground. Trash up grass, yellow forest, you can see it just damn wallaby. As I reached my horizon, read my kingdom. Landscape fits with something you could almost call hilly. All the pleasure stays as well. You think to yourself. The next song is going to be a cover. Are we allowed to play covers? <laughs> um, and we're going to use the loop station. Uh, just to... We hope it works. Uh, we sometimes have problems with feedback. But let's just give it a try. Tangible fire, 
Don't be scared. <coughs> it's gonna be okay. Okay. Um, basically, in the middle of the song, you have you have this part that you have to sing. <laughs> well, it's not like you have to sing lyrics. It, it, just notes, and it's just three notes, so you can do it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, so here's the part in the middle. Uh, it says. <coughs>
This song is called Commercial Song, and it's the, it's not the last song, but almost. <laughs> the last good one. And um, it's, the song is called Commercial Song, 
because it's our most commercial song. <laughs> it hasn't been used by the commercial yet. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> Don't say that everywhere we go. <laughs> In 
Oh, mm -hmm.
Thank you.